have a go in the SRL channel, and looks like we've got a shuffled start right away, Iso. Oh, wow, nice and quick. And... I think I'm all good to go here. Yeah, we do have a sword get, and it was not in the start cave. It was in level one. Which is interesting, because it's very rare, it seems, that the sword cave is actually shuffled out of its normal location. So that could give Dragon Dark a small lead, just by basically sheer sure luck that he went and checked that cave on his way down. Yeah, I mean, it's normally good practice to check that start cave, but when you walk right by level one, generally you're going to check it. So this could uh, delay random just a little bit here at the start. And we looks like we do not have shuffled secret amounts as we find the large secret on random effect side. Yeah, good find to have early. Um, I didn't see if there were extra candles that are not available, but, uh, you know, even if you do have extra candles, sometimes you want to buy that just so you could have that extra uh, extra heart out of the take innies. Well then we also have both a level 9 find in vanilla 3 and normal shops. So we're probably going to see both of these players head up towards that Armos up by level 3 and we also have a standard penalty cave of 20 rupees. Yeah, shops and the secrets in the uh, take or the uh, pay doors will not be shuffled. Uh, Random, unfortunately, taking a death on the blue ring armor screen, which does in fact contain the power bracelet, so he'll head back for that, I'm sure. So a shuffled armos, but not a shuffled item. Not too too surprising there. Yeah, and we have confirmed it's not zero HP as the blue levers did not go down in one hit. So Dark up to a little bit of an early lead, but Random is going to find that sword here. And we definitely do not have extra candles on. Yeah, so that early 100 secret will uh, will definitely be helpful when he finds that shop. He did buy eight bombs, which is actually probably a good purchase early in the game. Saves you a little bit of backtracking on some of these bomb caves. And meanwhile, we do have a level six find over at the desert shop for Dragon Dark. And we are confirmed shapes. Just with the way that the door layouts are so far. Yeah, so, so far, pretty much getting what I wanted out of this scene. We've got shapes, we've got shuffled caves, we had a shuffled wood sword, even though it wasn't too difficult to find. And we do not have zero HP enemies, so this should be a pretty good race, I think. And it does look like so far we do not have shuffled enemy sets, but with only one dungeon, it's too early to tell yet. We can, Boom however, stick. say there's Boomstick in the scene. Very nice. A random finding that early is, is pretty good for him. We'll see if this is, uh, this should be a first quest overworld. Could possibly be mixed still. We'll, we'll have to see as we uh, see some extra locations. Probably the two earliest ways we'll be able to tell are if this bomb wall opens, because it seems like if it's mixed, this bomb wall will never open. Or once we get a look at vanilla 5 or vanilla 2. So it did open, and I do agree, it tends to never open, but level 5 is actually behind there. So we'll see if uh, Random can find anything useful out of here, and it's a pleasant pink color. You know, the pink isn't hurting my eyes this time. I'm okay with that. <laughs> with the um, little bit of a block here possibly early crazy room so far don't like dealing with large dark nut rooms like that that's not uh, not fun when the HP is zero definitely not and also there's the bunny factor although yeah. random effect does find a staircase that has an item and it's the recorder so, if did this first quest overworld, not necessarily the greatest item in the world, but it will allow him to get around the overworld quicker once he does complete a few dungeons. 
Plus, it'll give him a little bit of a quicker access to level 9 as he can warp to 5 and walk over a couple screens. And we have Shuffled Take Any Roads. Yeah, shuffled Take Any Roads. Uh, there was a heart at the desert push block there, so we'll see if these go anywhere useful. But I do not believe that Random Effect did go back for the Power Bracelet yet, so we will have to see if he does that. Well, we do get confirmation that Recorder is not going to be required as one of the take any's goes to Recorder Lake. Unless we're Dig Dogger blocked. Which is always a possibility. And, and I think it's pretty safe to say Vanilla First Quest now that we've seen level 2 is what it normally is in Vanilla. Yes, I 100% agree. So the recorder, again, only going to be useful if, if there is a dick dogger, as you stated earlier, or if, you know, perhaps they want to get around the world a little bit faster. Now, what is going to be helpful is having three large secrets, which means Boomstick will be a little bit easier to purchase. Yes, indeed. And we have a raft in the uh, White Sword Cave, and it is shuffled down to four hearts. Quite interesting. So with that, Dragon Dark also knows that Magical Sword is now Shuffled Hearts. So when he gets to 10 hearts, he'll have a 20% chance to pick it up instead of a 10% chance, and so on. Uh, yes, indeed. And Random pushing his way through level 6 here. Hopefully he'll find something of use uh, <laughs> and runs into a ladder block. So not quite the, uh, the type of thing he was looking for, but at least he confirms that level 6 is not going to have that ladder. You see on Dragon Dark's side that the coast item is the heart container. It is pretty interesting that all of the uh, the recorder, the power bracelet, and the raft are easily accessible early in the seed, meaning that there's really no block for the overworld other than finding the either red candle or the candle shop. What's interesting about that is Random Effect already knows where at least one candle shop is. So, if it comes down to purchasing a blue candle, he'll have a small advantage in the knowledge department. Yeah, buying those bombs early is, is paying dividends as far as being able to get to the bomb case, but unfortunately having to uh, walk by some of the burn bushes in the process. And, and we have shuffled enemy drop groups. Oh boy. Just what they're looking for, I bet. The hundred secret on Dragon Dark side, you're gonna put him um, closer or whatever he's looking to get. He, I don't think he knows that Boomstick is on yet, as I believe it is possibly the rare shop. We can't confirm that yet, but does not quite know um, that Boomstick is there. It cannot be the rare shop with shops not shuffled, because the Boomstick will replace an expensive magical shield, and if shops are not shuffled, the blue ring shop is always the rare shop. Right. So this will be the one time, or one of the few times, that Boomstick will not be in the rare shot. Yeah, the White Sword was over at the cave northeast of where Vanilla Level 8 is in First Quest, is where the White Sword cave was located. Now, Dragon Dark doesn't know that it's a Boomstick Seed yet, but I imagine after purchasing the candle, once he finds that out, that's probably what he's going to go ahead and save up for. And there's our Blue Ring Shop at Vanilla 5. Yeah, and Random Effect fighting the Any Roads here, which actually proved to be fairly decent Any Roads. There's one fairly close to start, and it gets you around the world until you get a hold of the Triforce pieces, and he does find one of the bookshops. Interesting that he didn't buy the candle yet. I would have expected he would have bought that as soon as he saw that it was a candle shop. Possibly holding out for the red candle luck. Uh, it's a good, I mean, it's it's a difficult question thing, you know, right? You got the, the candle in the book in the same shop and does pass it up again. Uh, we'll see if this comes back to haunt him at all. Yeah, because if the red candle is hidden behind a dungeon that's behind a burn bush, I mean, there's no way to get it. 
I would have probably gone ahead and bought the candle at that point, to be honest. Knowing that I have at least one large secret left, I would have just gone ahead and bought it. Yeah, and Random does pick up the raft at four hearts, so knows that there is the possibility of the shuffle on the magical sword as well. So good knowledge for him to pick up. I think and I think with that, both players will try the magical sword at a lower amount of hearts than you would normally see, if it happens to be on the way. Indeed, and Dragon Dark doing a double take and heading back up to the waterfall, and does decide to pick up that candle. So wise move on his part. Definitely. And he immediately is rewarded with a dungeon. Yeah, level 8 right there underneath the burn bush, close to where they started, so awesome find for him. I imagine random effect once he comes up here, collects these secrets, and finds another one of those candle shops. He'll just go ahead and buy the candle himself. Oh, for sure. Just has to get the rupees for it, but he should be having that. If, as soon as he explores the northeast here, he'll get that hundred secret. He's kind of, you know, shaking his head at the pay doors right now, but he'll uh, he'll be fine here in just a moment. Yes, indeed. And chat, it's time to play our favorite game, Name That Ink Block. Yeah, Dragon Dark going to bail out of level 8 here, I think. Doesn't want to use that key, and doesn't want to deal with Dark Nuts either. So probably a wise move to early, early on just bail out of that dungeon. Especially when you haven't found level 1 or 2 yet. Okay, going to open the key door. Let's Ooh. see what we got underneath uh, this particular room. But just says Kappa, how Best hint ever. <laughs> the best hint ever. This was not staged, I promise. <laughs> Raffle. It was starting to look like we were going to break Z-Man again with uh, Dragon Dark skipping the candle twice, but I think he's good. Uh, some of these seeds lately have been just fantastic. Like, you just can't plan that. It's so good. Staircase is going exactly. to the far northeast here. Um, unfortunately, burning the wall does not open it. Oh, uh, yes, unfortunately. Finds the key and a dig dogger block. Or not. Can, can get around. We'll see if you can get around the other portion of the dungeon without it, but uh, that is a possibility. There is still the chance that that could block getting to the rest of level 8. Well, the Triforce is directly below it, so... That could be a problem coming up. Yeah, we'll see if he can find some items here. Obviously, no, he's not going to find the recorder, but there is the possibility of the ladder, the any key. Lots of things still left on the table. Hopefully, it's not a red candle, um, as that would just be the game, really playing the troll. But we'll see what happens. Well, he does pick up a heart container, so that'll help him out a little bit. We have a potential item room. Let's see. No! Oh! We like stairs, that's what that is. And probably the best place for a chevy room to be. Yeah, so far it's not looking like we've got randomized dungeon rooms, which is good for uh, both of these guys. Uh, also, we do have a candle get on random effect side, but he does not get towards level 8, he's going to head towards the forest. I don't disagree with that, because level 8 is right next to start. The forest is a little bit more of a walk. There's a better chance of finding something useful there than he probably figures is at that one burnable bush. Indeed, and it does look like the staircase actually was. Uh, looks like it might. I don't know if he bombed the wall below, but he does get access to the southern portion of this top shape this way. So I'm going to check this room for a item as well. Hopefully you find something in here. I think we could confirm normal HP on enemies at this point. Uh, yes, and I also think we can confirm non-shuffled uh, dungeon enemy sets. I would agree. I want to say well. five of the dark pits also. Though that is a small sample size, to be fair. Yes. I believe we saw whiz robes in six, though. Oh, Silver's in eight. What a find. 
So with that, Dragon Dark also knows that the Red Ring could also be shuffled out of nine. Definitely a big find. And Random Effect may actually skip that. It's depending on how he goes through level eight. He does find level four, though. I'm not sure where that was. It was under one of the burn bushes in the forest, but uh, definitely has wizard robes. So it does, I believe, confirm that we do not have shuffled drop group or shuffled enemy sets in dungeons. We do have shuffled drop groups, however. Now uh, that increases the chance of uh, bomb drops off of like likes. But what'll be really interesting to see is if the keys that pop out when you split a fire drop anything. Yeah, those or the, the Zoles, um, you know, with the wood sword, they're going to split. That uh, sometimes can be useful to get, you know, because those Zoles that split off are separate from the other ones. Or rather, the gels are separate from the other regular gels, and so they can drop different things as well. Exactly. And we've already seen in a couple of seeds where those type of enemies having the ability to drop items has really been able to help the runners out in places like level 9 with bomb drops. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what we get for um, the enemy set. It should be the regular enemy set of Wizrobe. So finding which enemy drops in uh, you know this group is going to be super important going into level 9 if these guys don't end up with the boomstick. Absolutely. Or even if they do get boomstick, they might find that they need bombs for some other reason. Not quite Indeed. sure what it would be, but there could always be that possibility. All right, we do get a Triforce pickup here in level 4 for Random Effect. It looks like he's going to take it and run. Probably a wise decision with Wizrobes in there. And just come back later whenever he's better equipped. If he thinks he even needs to. He may find everything except Silvers and just be in Triforce and Go mode and just not go back to 4. Random Effect... Not Random Effect. Uh, Dragon Dark is still in level 8 looking for that way around that dig dogger and the second item, which could be right here. Yeah. Oh no! Dig oh no! What if that is the ladder? Oh, oh my goodness, that... and it looks like it is in fact blocked from the re with the recorder. We got what we were looking for. That is absolutely wonderful. That could that could be bad for random if he doesn't search out because the only way to get over to the silver arrows then is to take that left hand path and take the stairs down to the southern portion. So if he doesn't do that, he won't run into the silver arrows at all. But also consider well, we have a level three find on Dragon Dark side. But also consider that he's still looking for the ladder at this point. He might think to search eight for the ladder anyway, because there's a higher odds of it being in there. Yeah, that's true. I mean, at this point, you find eight. Um, I Again, though, when you've still got one and two on the table, how much time do you really invest? Uh, if he could get to that quick Triforce, he may just take it and leave. Especially when you've got to deal with eight HP blue Dark Nets that are all over the place in this dungeon. That's definitely a very high possibility. Yeah, and he's just... Oh, he's going to open that key door, get the free yep. key. Dragon Dark finds an early uh, Triforce in three, but is going to go ahead and dig for the item, which is definitely the right move. Kappa! Kappa, Kappa! Uh, recorder was in five. Yeah, which, I mean, Dragon Dark hasn't even been over to that area yet, so he he doesn't have any chance of getting that at the moment. Actually, I don't think Random Effect taking the Triforce and running will be as big of a deal because he can just record her and or up and a back whenever he wants. Whereas for Dragon Dark, he's still going to have to walk back, which, again, it's a quick up and a away, but it's still a little bit of backtracking that he's going to need to do that Random Effect may not have to. Right, but here's the problem. So he finds that one item in eight, which is going to be down south. Say it's the ladder or something of that nature. Does, doesn't even really matter what it is at this point. The chances of him going back 
to eight before searching nine are probably fairly low once he finds one item. But also Especially consider... if it's the silver arrows he's looking for, right? That's the main thing. If it's the silver arrows he's looking for, why would you? Why would he go to eight before going to nine? And, you know, because just having some discussions with him overall, it just seems like he prefers to go to level nine instead of digging this, this level out, which he's not going to explore very much of because this right here should be the item. Yep. Let's see what it is. Oh it's my the goodness. ladder. It is the ladder. Not the quarter blocked, though. Well, actually, it is. Uh, I guess it was. It was because you had to go to the, the, uh, the dick dogger room. So the question is will he dig the rest of eight for the other item? I really hope he does. If I not, we've too. got a really interesting situation on our hands. This is all assuming that Ganon is required. If he's not required, then, well, Silvers don't matter at that point. They're still useful because they're a magical True. sword damage item, but they're not extremely mandatory. That is true. And he does he does take the Triforce. So if Ganon does end up being required, this could be very, very interesting. Now, there is also the potential for him to get the hint in level 9 about where the silvers are, because I don't know if we've been able to confirm if this is community, mixed, or helpful hints yet. Well, we've got community hints inside of the Take Any Caves. And I believe we had them inside of the shop, so that would indicate either mixed community or helpful. Random effect opting to take a potion out of the Take Any Road instead of the Heart Container. Very interesting choice. Uh, probably just gambling on the fact that he's never going to have enough for Magical Sword, even though it is shuffled. Uh, but again, it, sometimes it's hard to, to think that you're going to end up with that number of hearts. And so picking up a potion early like this can save you in one of those maybe really bad rooms in, say, level 6 or level 4, where you're searching for an item or you're close to the Triforce and you can pop a potion and keep yourself alive. Not to mention that he also hasn't found the lighter yet, and if it's in one of those really out-of-the-way spots, he may never pick it up. Very true. And it's uh, unfortunate that he never went back to pick up the power bracelet. I I'm wondering if he's just assuming that... You know, obviously, he can't assume any rooms are shuffled because he's seen them, so he's not going to be able to check the power bracelet spot up here, and so he's going to have to backtrack to double-check that. That is true but if he finds everything he needs such as level one he may not need to backtrack for it anyway very true he does have the recorder so regardless of how whistles work he can come right back up here yep somebody cue the whistle while you work theme glia not necessarily doing a great job of guarding that heart container he's just standing on it instead of eating it doesn't check the boss. Why does nobody check the Gleox? Am I the only one that does that? Well, that not doing a very uh, good job. Maybe he shuffled. Interesting that he picked that up now. Well, I mean, again, you've got six hearts. You've got to deal with Gibdos. You've got to get through Gurias. I mean, Gurias with six hearts and wood swords suck. Um, so being able to stun them is kind of nice, I think. True. I still don't think it's possible to actually predict when they're going to just clip you with a boomerang like that. It, it is difficult. Um, you just kind of have to wait for him to shoot and then attack sometimes. Uh, no keys. Looking for the ground item, though, still. And only two bombs. This could be very interesting. Although I do believe we can definitely confirm that Triforces will be in their normal rooms. Yeah, definitely will be. And unfortunately, going to have to take that Triforce and leave as he's out of all resources to continue exploring. But again, he does have that recorder, so he can come back relatively easily. Looks like Dragon Dark ran out of bombs at level 5. Yeah, not not the place to uh, bombs, but does find level 2 right away afterwards. So perhaps can pick some up here and head back to level 5, where we obviously see that he needs the recorder to find the ladder. Yep. We'll get an early map for two, and it's almost uh, one whole piece. 
quite a few segments in this particular seed. Yes, indeed. Uh, Random Effect should find level 2 just based on his current rooting. Yeah, Peef should find that pretty much about the same time as Dragon Dark here. He's just going to burn this bush and find it. He'll be glad to find that I am quite positive as it should be pretty key rich as well as some bombs. So that's what he's looking for right now. Plus the magical key is still at large and both players would probably like to have that right now. For sure. Or the wand. I mean, the wand is not necessarily a bad thing at this point either, since both know that Boomstick is on the table, uh, and Dragon Dark having the 200 rupees right now to purchase that. Yep. As for which of the two the players would want more, um, I don't know. I don't know which would be more valuable at this point. I think Boomstick... Both with level four and level six. Yeah, I actually would agree that Boomstick will be the more valuable of the two. But if they find a magic key, they won't be upset at all. Interesting. And it looks like the Triforce is bomb blocked. Yes, because there's a. No because there's only one way to go from that way forward, and that's the right to a bomb wall. And Random Effect does not have bombs either. You find a magical sword. Oh, man. Yeah, Dragon Dark had nine hearts already, so getting closer to that territory, being able to pick up that magical sword, which could play a huge role in this seed. Absolutely. Dragon Dark should find level one real quick, and he will have the keys to keep exploring it. That random effect did not have when he first went in. Yeah, and shuffle drop groups playing a big role in how this seed is playing out, since they are not able to find who is dropping bombs so far. It seems like none of these things in the dungeons have been dropping bombs for these guys. And uh, we'll see if Random just decides to go buy some bombs over here at the shop where he knows where it's at. I would think he'd want to either walk or whistle back to level one. Now that he has that yeah, key to get that past as well. the Triforce room. Plus, we still don't know... Um, oh, there we go. Oh, he does get some bombs off the Moblins, which is nice. I think we'll see him head back to level two and then probably go back to level one. The items are just too easy to get a hold of in that in that aspect to yep. not check at this point. So really the only required item left that they're hunting for is the bow. Indeed, yeah. I mean, especially on, well, on Dragon Dark side, he's still looking for the recorder. Um, but yeah, overall between the two players, it's just the bow. We don't know the location of that could, could in fact be important. It's kind of interesting. We're almost a half an hour into the seed, and we only know the locations of the overworld items and four dungeon items. Yeah, it's that, and a lot of that is the symptom of the, the low resources that have been available to these guys so far. Key drops have not been a plenty, and unfortunately, there have been a lot of key doors along the way as well that have led to bad locations. Yep. You must construct additional pylons. I'm, I'm going to say we're on full community hints at this point. Yeah, that's what I'm starting to think too, which is bad news for Random Effect if he doesn't go back to level 8. But level 8 was a little bit smaller than we usually see in shapes. Yeah, it was pretty one-directional. You couldn't get to the where the silver arrows are without going to the left and taking that staircase and purposely walking by them. And even if Dragon Dark had gotten through the bomb block, it's still ladder blocked. Interesting. So it's just... Oh. And there's the wand. That wand pickup. That is a big deal. Now he just needs to find the rupees for the boomstick and... This will be a big deal for, for Random here. I mean, obviously, Dragon Dark will find that as well, but he's still got to get the recorder out of five. He's got to get the recorder out of five to get the ladder out of eight to get the boomstick to solve all of his bomb problems. Yeah. 
it's quite quite the seed we've got here. I like it. Also, um, we apparently miss Dragon Dark buying wooden arrows. Dragon Dark bought wooden arrows when he had silver arrows. Yeah, yes. Very interesting. Maybe he is just trying to make sure that he has got enough arrows to go around. If he's well, fighting a keys or a, or a gel, he doesn't want to actually use the good arrows. Maybe it's a new addition uh, that was put in the randomizer where if you run out of rupees, you shoot wood arrows now. <laughs> that would actually be really cool. Yeah, I turned the flag on. Very interesting choice by Dragon Dark. Unfortunately, going to put him quite a ways out of the boomstick range now as, you know, making that purchase. Uh, whether it be just a slip of the mind, I'm not sure. But, I mean, you, you obviously aren't ever used to getting silver arrows so early in a seed like he did. So it is a very big possibility that he just forgot that he had them. Yeah. That's not unreasonable at all. Plus, seeing as he still hasn't found the bow, he might have thought, oh, I don't have the bow yet. Let me buy wooden arrows so that when I do get the bow, I can use it, not realizing that he had silvers. Yeah, he, he did mark the silvers on his tracker as well, so that's a little bit unfortunate. I, I just think we're, we're trying to out-troll Zarnax at this point is what has been happening the last couple of days. Ugh. I'm still waiting for the troll percent tournament. <laughs> Don't worry. Next round we can have Sprite Shuffle. That's what you're looking for. Did he get a wand? Wait, it's a bomb. Yep. He still has not gotten to enough rupees to purchase the boomstick yet. Yeah, so I mean, I think... And it looks like... Oh, please go ahead. I was going to say, it's looking like Dragon Dark with 12 hearts already, unable to pick up oh. the magical sword. It shuffled high. Denied! That, that is, is unfortunate. Yes, it is. That could have been the major turning point for him, as, again, he does not have... He needs to go to level 5, and he just doesn't realize it. Unfortunately, going back into 2, going to find the ladder block, so wasting another couple of minutes here... Uh, checking out level two again, which again, and the worst part is he's ladder way. blocked out of the wand, too. Right, agreed. Yeah, I mean, it's the you right even get the item. Oh, definitely. I would probably do the same thing in his position because two is so rarely ladder blocked, you just don't expect it. Yeah, which now again goes back to the point where I said it doesn't look like we have randomized dungeon rooms. We do, in fact, have randomized dungeon rooms as there is not a river room in level two. You know, I'm going to have to look at the randomizer, but I want to say it has to be... The no! randomized dungeon rooms has to be on... Ooh! The patcher deny. And he's going to go back and find the bloomer anyways. How depressing is that? It's... Maybe he should take it as a sign. Don't go for this item. If Patra's denying you, you'll listen to Patra. Yeah, I think, like, I, I, right now, the best thing that could happen for him would be running into a red ring so that he would think, no, you know, think about the fact that the silver arrows are out there. Uh, that's about the only thing at this point I, I feel is going to really hinder him is if Ganon does end up being required and he full clears nine looking for silver arrows just to find out that I need to go back to level eight. Well, there is also another way he could find out. We know that one of the items in 9 is not going to be the Silver Arrow Red Ring combo, and if that particular item is early on, that That's will true. tip him off. However, Law of Zelda Randomizer is it will be the Red Ring. Well, yes. <laughs> and finding the You will always find the Red Ring random. in like the Heart Container or some other item like that in 9. Except the heart container's on the coast, so it can't be that. So it has to be Magic Shield. Indeed. So, Dragon Dark does make his way back into 5 and finds the appropriate bomb wall. So we will see how long it, find, it takes for him to find the recorder here. Which might have been in this room, I don't remember. It was indeed. Yep, this is it. 
So in fact, the item he was looking for, and he should be able to get to that ladder fairly quickly if he takes his uh, route back to level eight. Random effect finds a piece of paper. Don't give it to the hand yet. Wait until you show it to the old person, then give it to the hand. So I think the only dungeon we are still currently searching for is level seven. Yes. And I'm going to guess it's on Death Mountain based on what we've explored so far. Could very well be true. And, you know, we still um, still just need to see how this whole thing plays out. Dragondark does get the recorder, but doesn't get to the Triforce, which I believe was ladder blocked. If Correct me if I'm wrong, because we know that Random Effect did not get it either. So it could have just been key blocked too. Uh, again, keys being a major factor. Dragon Dark down to zero. Random Effect only having one. You got to think they're looking for that any key. Absolutely. Plus, I imagine Random Effect's now looking for secrets because he's getting close to being able to purchase that boomstick. Oh, yes. He can taste it, I'm sure. Now, I imagine it tastes very... Uh... Much like a burnt piece of toast. A lot of charcoal. <laughs> Although I haven't tasted an explosion in a while. I should probably go eat some Pop Rocks and fix that. Oh, man. Dr. Pepper and Pop Rocks. That's where it's at. Absolutely. One of my favorite childhood candies. You just can't hardly find them anywhere anymore. Mommy reminiscing about Pop Rocks. Uh, random effect found that we whistled to new dungeons and not old dungeons. Which he still hasn't found the second item in one yet. Indeed. Looks like he's going to go back to five, which he doesn't have a Triforce in. So not necessarily a bad choice. Get that knocked out while he's there. Uh, hopefully pick up some rupees along the way and be able to afford that boomstick. It is unfortunate, however, that he did not get the rupees for it beforehand. As uh, again, dealing with Dark Nuts with a boomstick is much easier than dealing with, uh, you know, without. But he does have the wand to help. And also note that level 5 tends to be pretty generous with the keys, so he might be able to pick up some keys here. We, we can hope. Uh, I think the key block was the problem earlier on, as it, he's passed up two key doors already, and it looks like he's going to have to use at least one. Yep. And I would definitely use it on this door and not the door down at the bottom just because this has the higher potential to lead to more dungeon rooms. Uh, definitely. But he finds the tea room, gets a key. Let's see if he goes for the ladder clip. Uh, definitely would here, as you don't want to use a key. I mean, ladder clips are never required, so there is a way to get north, east, or west of this room, which could have been the other key door. And uh, we do see that... Dragon Dark enters level 4 and promptly leaves and heads back into level 8, which we all know is the correct play. Absolutely. He will find the ladder here and be able to go ahead and progress on with the seed. Now, I... Oh, look at that. The Zals that split into the gels, those gels drop bombs. <laughs> nice. That would make me want to keep a wooden sword. Because Zals Absolutely. are guaranteed to be in any group that's in level 9. That, it actually is a weird spot because you want the magical sword to deal with the wish robes, but if you have boomstick, that doesn't matter anyway, and you just keep wood sword. Yeah, but if you have boomstick, you don't care about bombs, so I guess it's I guess it doesn't matter either way. Yeah, it's just a matter of do you want boomstick or do you want mags? And another tea room. Ooh, that's that's rough. The double T. You find a map. I'm Confirming really we have another cactus and a triforce. It doesn't look like a T. If level 5 was shaped like the tea room, I, my randomizer tournament would have been complete right there. <laughs> so Dragondor does make his way back to the Dig Dogger here. Also important note, we don't have a bow yet, so it is in 6 or 7. Uh, or 1. I don't think we've seen the second item in 1 yet. You may be correct. I don't know that Dragondor got that either. I know he did not. Oh, it was the boomerang. Oh, the boomerang in... Yeah, that's it. So we don't have the other item in 1 yet. I imagine that's where Random Effect's going to want to go. Unless he decides to go digging back in four, which would be an interesting decision. 
man. Yeah, I would. Uh, again, you don't know where the secrets are, but I would so be wanting to get my hands on that book before trying to go into four or or go back into six with the uh, with the wizard ropes to deal with. And we've also still got to find level seven. So Death Mountain, I think, is like you were pointing out earlier, the place to find that. Yep. He is okay. He's going around level eight. Probably going to go for level six here. Yeah, it does find the uh, the ladder on Dragon Dark Side. So he finally has unlocked the seed, and we shall see how quickly he moves through it now. Is uh, quite a few Triforces behind, but again, the Silver Arrows being a pretty big factor thus far, or potentially rather. Yep. Now, if Dragon Dark doesn't ever get the money to get Boomstick, will he attempt to pick up the Magical Sword if he gets another heart or two, or will I he leave it? Why not? I, I would check it. You've got you've got a recorder spot in level two right over there by it, so it's not like it's super far away, and you can get right over to level nine from there as it's at level three, level level three. So it's not like it's really far out of the way, and you know it's it's a huge upgrade when you've got regular HP enemies. I, I could not see him skipping that if he finds some extra hearts. Well, I could see him skipping it if he picks up Boomstick because he knows that the shells that split from the Zal are capable of dropping bombs. But at that point, it wouldn't matter anyway, so you'd probably just check it. Yeah, I mean, the possibility of Ganon and, you know, just some other things makes makes the Magical Sword appealing. If it were way out of the way, I would definitely say no, but it's not not enough screens out of the way. I, th I think that you would skip it. No. It, it's even really close to level 9 just in and of itself, much less there's two dungeons near it. Oh, and a compass find for a random effect in level 6. That's nice. Question is, will he search for the item, or is he just going to put himself in Triforce and go mode? I think he's just looking for Triforces at this point. You don't want to dig 6 for an item. We'll see, We'll see though. I mean, it's tough. The keys are the real problem here. And you've got to be yeah. thinking that they're looking for an anti-key. He's going to have to burn his last key just to get over to the Triforce here. Uh, it's just a rough situation to be in. He's going to go check this room next to the Triforce. Could even be an item room. Yeah, potential item room. If this is the any key, that's that's huge. And Dragon Dark is in again in the same level uh, right below him. So we'll see what we find. Yep. Uh, staircase with the, the staircase. Looks like he's going to go pick up the Triforce and probably start the great search for seven. Yeah, I, I, again, I think this is, a, while yes, he's out of keys, and yes, he does need a bow, he's got to remember that he's still got the item in one, and I would much rather look in seven while searching for a Triforce than go dig level six at this point. Uh, yes, Steve Paul, silver's were an eight. Yeah, not without keys isn't good, and this actually should be the item in level six. We'll see what it is. Nope. Oh, it's the other end of the staircase. But, but ships with nine can be very generous with keys, as we saw, uh, or if you watched the race over on the uh, Red Massacre channel, uh, one of the players went in with two keys and, and ended the game with, like, I think, ten. Uh, there's just, there are a lot of key drops available in shapes a lot of the time, where while zero, one, or two is pretty bad, uh, it may not necessarily be a huge problem. Absolutely, and I... Yeah, yep, he just used the key to go to the other end of that staircase. So he's going to check the staircase only to find that he didn't need to use the key. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yep. Looks pretty pot committed to finding this item, though. For his sake, he's really hoping it's the Yankee. Well, at this point, it's got to be... It has to be something decent. Yeah. Uh, I guess the one thing that you wouldn't want to see would be the magicals, or the, the large shield. But at this point, yeah. it's the any key, the wand, the white sword, the red ring. It's all good stuff. The bow. So, But it's just going to take the Triforce and leave. Again, I think it's a good choice. Especially... Is basically the equivalent of a vanilla seven. 
That's what I've heard anyway, is Shape 6 is on par with Vanilla 7 in terms of exploration. Yeah, so the way... Oh, and a secret find, and it's 30, Boomstick for available for random effect. Uh, the reason why 6 is that way is because levels 1 through 6 share the same, basically, if you would call it, two pages of a book. And it starts with level 1 and generates from the bottom to the top is the way levels generated, but it generates one through five. And then level six takes up anything that's left. So that's why six ends up being sometimes extremely large because one through five ends up not being very large. And it just, it makes it sometimes, you know, ridiculous. And you could have four segments for all you know, depending on how the rest of it worked out. 14 oh, heart man. mags. You just said it, 14 heart magical sword. That is brutal. And random effect, about to pick up the boomstick. Like, yeah, I, I have to say probably major advantage right now to random effect. He's way ahead on Triforces. He's still going to find level 7, but while Dragon Dark is going to find the wand, he's not going to have the rupees for it right now. So uh, I would say the tra or that random effect is a little bit in the lead right now. The one thing Dragon Dark has is Silver's in a Ganon required situation. Yeah, we'll have to see how that plays out, because, uh, man, that would be rough. You have to hope that you find the, the non-red ring item there in 9. Yep. And prepare for all the flashiness of Michael Bay on Dragon Dark, not Dragon Dark, Random Effect Screen. Sometimes I get mixed up who's where, and then I remember, wait, sprites. Dragon Dark will find his wand. He will find his Triforce. Fortunately, Random Effect couldn't get a Boomstick explosion to open up that cave there. Yeah, and still searching for bombs, unfortunately. He only has two. It needs to open this up here. Oh, doesn't There's get a bomb that. drop. Off of the Red Lionels. Hopefully he keeps that in mind. Yeah, shuffle drop groups are horrible, and bombs the wrong, lo wrong location on top of it. That's got to feel bad. And 11 rupees shy of buying the bombs in that shop, too. Yeah, he will have just enough to finish up Death Mountain, fortunately. Uh, I'm yep. pretty sure that we should be seeing level 7 up here. Oh, he bombs the wrong spot again. I think he was trying I to set up... I'm almost thinking he was trying to set up a 10 count to get a forced bomb drop off the line now. Well, that Lionel was also right by the bomb location, and I think he thought he was on the wand, and unfortunately ended up using a bomb instead of shooting the wand beam. Oof. It only gets a hint cave for that bomb spot. Not what he was looking for. Uh, Deepal Duck, we do not know the location. Oh, and he gets boffed and miscounts and loses his extra bomb. Yep. Uh, but we do not know the location of the bow yet. It is either... Uh, it has to be in level 7 or level 1, depending on uh, where it got shuffled. So we confirmed that it's not in level 6? Oh, I guess it could be in level 6. They never did find yeah. the item. You're correct. I'm sorry. Oh, random. Ooh. Get hit by the Lionel Beam with just one cave left to check up there on Death Mountain, which could be level 7. What? At least there's a warp spot relatively close to it, and the start screen's also pretty close, so it's not a, it's not like, oh, you now have to go from Forest all the way back to Death Mountain with no warps. Very true. And meanwhile, Dragon Dark in level 5, looking for that, that Triforce, uh, I guess he has this transition spot as well, and it is not level 7, but he does find Rupees, the last 100 the secret. The last large secret. Pick up some bombs now. Absolutely. Plus, it'll also give him a little bit of a buffer on rupees should he use up his potion and decide he needs to buy another one. For sure. He might even consider buying a key if he knows where the blue ring shop is or is willing to spend the 100 uh, candle shop. Yeah, that's, a, that's such a tough position to be in. I mean, again, Dragon Dark with two keys, uh, random effect with zero, and it is entirely possible that the any key is in level um, level 9. Level 7 has been found. Yeah, 
Yeah, so he's happy to find that finally. That is uh, one of those first locations you want to check, and he didn't, unfortunately. But we'll see. Oh, and a bomb upgrade. I mean, I'm obviously I, not worth picking up with the any key after checking all these caves now. Or not any key, but the boomstick. But Yeah. We did I, see Dr. J actually pick up both bomb upgrades with the boomstick earlier, which was quite interesting. He wanted to have all the explosives at his disposal. And Dragon Dark finding himself old man blocked from the Triforce. Let's see, we have an item. Nope, just a staircase. Yeah, fortunately finding some keys in here though. Level seven generally is pretty nice for keys as well. So again, I think going in with two or three into nine isn't the worst thing in the world. As at least it's been my experience that with shapes nine, especially with the boomstick to get around and to kill rooms, that it's pretty easy to find keys. Oh yeah. And with level seven being its normal Gurria set, he'll definitely have no problems getting through here. I could even almost see a search for the item if it's, oh, well, I found the Triforce, let me check this one other room kind of thing. But if he finds an early Triforce, he's probably not going to dig for it. Man, but you got to be thinking about that bow still. Then it's a question of, do you gamble on Ganon or do you gamble on bow? Because uh, you top. know 9's going to be a wizard set, and you know it's going to be Patras, so you can't be Goma blocked unless you're Goma blocked in 7. Yeah, it's a tough call on what to do. He's got the four keys as well, and Dragon Dark gets his 14th heart, assuring that he can, in fact, get the magical sword. He's going for the opposite of Zardax for set. Red, Red ring. ring in 7. Wow. Now that is, first of all, awesome because of the defense upgrade, but also has got to be dingling in some red flags in his head that Silvers may not be in nine. That that could actually... He might go back to one as soon as he's done with seven. I would imagine he would definitely go back to one. I Again, I don't think you go to eight. I don't feel like he's going to go to level eight. Nah. Uh, not until he knows he has to. If hey, Ganon Goma. is, in fact, required. Meanwhile, Dragon Dark taking the Mighty World Tour and picks up that magical staff, and he will increase his offense by a substantial amount. You know... I can't imagine... how... Trolley this could get if the heart variance on either sword was increased by plus or minus one, where a white sword was like three to seven and max was anywhere from nine to fifteen. Would be terrible. that would just be ridiculous. So so here's the other thing, right? So we know that random effect is probably gonna go back to level one. That's the smart play. You've got a yep. boomstick, you've got a few keys to get around now. He's gonna find out it could in fact be the bow still in level six or level or level one, but if it's not not only does he not have the bow, he won't have the silver arrow. So he knows he's going to have to dig one of the two locations. At that point, you have to think he goes to eight if he's going to play the the game where he wants to find the bow. Otherwise, we might just see him gamble and go straight to nine. You know, I'm looking at Dragon Dark sitting in the Triforce room in four. Did we ever find the item in there? I don't remember. Because I haven't seen either player pick it up, and if something important's in four, he's going straight to nine. Random effect is going for full gamble percent. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't say that I blame him. Why not? You, you've got a lot of unknowns on the map still. You need a bow. Um, you know that silver arrows can be shuffled out of here. It's probably the right call. I think he checks, and if he sees Ganon's required, he immediately goes and finds at least both. For, for sure, yeah. I mean, at that point, I might check outside of nine for the items, too. It, it's it's such a tough call. This is one of those seeds that really puts you on the, you know, how much are you willing to risk uh, table, because uh, it is. It's a big risk all the way around. Yep. 
So now that we're 55 minutes in and we have one player in nine, I'll go ahead and do an item recap of what we have found so far. Level one has at least the wooden boomerang. We don't know what the second item is yet. Level two has the wand. Level three has the magical boomerang. We don't know the items in levels four, six, and seven yet. Level five has the recorder. Level eight has the silver arrow and the raft. And I apologize, we actually do know the item in level seven is the red ring. The latter item was a heart container, the armor item was the power bracelet, and the white sword item was the raft. So we are still missing the bow, the magical key, the large shield, the red candle, and one other thing. Yeah, and Dragon Dark does find level 7, but then immediately leaves. Looks like he's going to go buy a book. Good call. I'm going to turn random effect stream up a little bit to see if he hears Ganon. Although, according to the chat, random effect has already heard him. Dragon Dark should find level 7 up here in Death Mountain pretty quick. Assuming he bombs the right spots. Um, he already found level 7. Oh, wait, no, it's over one more. That's correct. Yep. It's up over where I think a vanilla 30 secret is. I don't know vanilla Death Mountain that well. I don't often go there. He is going to check the rest of the grave first, however, which is going to delay him just a little bit. Yeah, but it's not a bad idea. You're here, you've got the power of and when are you ever going to come back, realistically? But he is going to show the letter. Which makes sense at this point. He has, even though he has 14 hearts, he does still have no ring. So a potion purchase might not be bad for him at some point. That is true. Meanwhile, Random working his way through level 9, trying to figure out where that princess might be. Or in this case, Link. Because as he's playing as a Zelda sprite, he'll be rescuing Link at the end instead of uh, Zelda, unless he's going to rescue himself. Although this does prove Zelda is more than capable of walking and sorting and throwing bombs at things. White sword and nine. Finds the white sword, yeah, so... While that is, in fact, nice for Ganon if it's required, it's not, again, what he's probably looking for. No, not at this point. I mean, that leaves the only the one option there for the Silver Arrows to be a 9, so if Ganon is required, I, I think we'll see him leave and maybe go check one of the other dungeons for sure. I mean, because he'll have yep. to have the bow no matter what, but... And even statistically, he's sitting at about a... What is it, 33% chance of Silver's a 9 now? Because we know the bow has to be one of the pre-9 items. That sounds correct. And with all community hints, he's not going to get the hint that silver arrows are outside of 9. But he oh, finds the, the compass. compass. Huge find. Now the, now the real question, is Ganon required? Or is Zelda even behind a magical staircase, which is behind Ganon? Oh no, he's denied. He's got to find another path, although it looks like he can go north here. All the keys in the world, too, on the way. It's so nice. Yep, especially given any a key here. Let's see. The gamble Ganon pays off! Required. Random effects gamble pays off, and he is going to be your winner. Congratulations to Random Effect. What a gamble, and it pays off big time. Holy cow. And this is why gamble percent is so strong in these flags. Indeed. Wow. And he is enjoying right as, it for sure. Absolutely. 
Also, we have found our bait block. Looks like we have an official time of 59.43, getting that sub hour. Yeah, getting the sub hour on that seat is actually really impressive, considering all the things that they had to go through. Absolutely. We can say Dragon Dark is most definitely ready for nine and 15 hearts. For sure. Goodness gracious. <laughs> and we have officially confirmed opposite of Zarnak strats. I wouldn't be surprised if he searches out that very last heart. I don't even know where it would be. You should find Red Ring here, if I remember. Nope, never mind. I'm wrong. And what a gamble. What a race. Still a little bit in disbelief. That's just crazy. But again, that's why you can do that. It, with these flags, you can gamble that you do not need the bow, that you do not need silver arrows, and it's not not the wrong call to do that, as it's proven here. Congratulations, Brandon. How you doing? Oh, thanks. Yeah, um, I'm feeling fantastic right now. So proving. Still, go ahead. Go ahead. I was just saying, uh, silver arrows were, in fact, in level eight. Uh, yeah, I... <laughs> I took the biggest gamble I think I've ever taken in these seeds uh, because, or these flags, because I never found the bow or the silvers. But when I found the red ring, I was like, whoops, well, this could be, this is either going to be really good or tremendously bad. So I, again, I just had to take a gamble and, you know, I didn't find the item in four or six or the other item in eight. So, and I didn't really want to dig six. Four had whiz robes. I just wanted to get in and out as quickly as I could. Eight, um, I probably would have gone back to eight first, actually, um, because I had the map, and I didn't have the map and anything else. So that would have been my first go, but I still would have needed bow as well. So did, you never know. Did you ever get the second item in one? No, I didn't, actually. That's another item I missed. Yeah, so neither you or Dragon Dark found the item, second item in one or the item in four or six. So we have no idea what those are or where the bow was at. Okay, yeah, uh, I was wondering if he had the bow or not. Uh, that makes, I mean, it makes sense. There was, there was a lot of blockage in this, um, and yeah. I really thought that keys were a big worry. That's why in some dungeons I was, you know, I found the Triforce and I was kind of moving on to see if I could find an item. I was actually more looking for keys at this point, like in level seven. You know, I just find it interesting that the seed was you had to go into five, get the recorder, then leave five, go to eight, get the ladder, then come back to five to get the Triforce. Yeah. Well, that, oh, it was completely ladder blocked? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I, I mean, I just saw a bunch of keys and ladder blocks, and I was like, well, I'm out of here. Yeah, definitely a high cholesterol seed. It uh, was not kind to Dragon Dark either, as you, both of you had key issues for a long time, and the, the, the shuffled groups on the bombs uh, as well proving to be an issue, as he had to leave level two because he didn't have bombs, Went back Same in to me. discover the ladder block, and he did not have the ladder at that point either. So has re oh, revisited dungeons a lot just okay. because of the nature of the seed. It took him a little bit to find that recorder in five. He went in two or three times, but again, the fact that the keys and bombs were just making it pretty difficult to get through. Yeah, I I never even figured out like exactly which groups dropped the bombs because I know at least the blue Lynels, the blue Moblins dropped them. But I knew that the random drops were on, so I was like, well, at least I know those two, and they're pretty plentiful, so I'll just keep doing that, I guess. I think it was actually Red Lionels that dropped the bombs. Indeed. Oh, really? Okay, maybe I just killed a red and a blue, like, really close together and thought the blues dropped it, and may have been it. That's what it looked like, because when you were up on Death Mountain fishing for bombs, we saw you kill a blue and then immediately kill a red right oh. after. Well, I think, um, I think, I mean, it, 
my time was sub hour, which is really good for this type of seed. But I think my I had a lot of deaths. I had more deaths than I kind of wanted, and uh, not getting dying right as the power bracelet spawned was really fun. Uh, and I didn't know that that was the power bracelet. I didn't see the item. I actually thought it was a staircase for a while because it made the same sound. Um, and then uh, I died. I died a lot. I died a deep in Death Mountain, which was harsh. I uh, there was a lot more deaths than I than I really wanted. I, I actually thought I was behind, to be honest, and that's why I took the huge gamble. I mean, I was probably going to take it anyway, regardless. But like, I was even more push for me to take that huge gamble because I was so I thought I was behind because I didn't get a candle for a long time I found the candle shops but I didn't I couldn't get rupees to save my life I ran into like what three-fourths of the the guys that take away my money really early I probably ran into about 75% of them yes indeed and dragon dark did manage to get the magical sword it was 14 hearts oh wow he checked it at uh, 12 or 11, 12, 13, and 14, I believe. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with the wood sword. And when I had the wand, too, I was like, you know, whatever. I, I got a potion. I got enough hearts. I got <clears throat> I got a little bit more firepower. So I'll just I'll just go. I've I've beaten plenty of seeds with the wooden sword. When I found the white sword in nine, I was, I'll, I'm like, I'll take it. You know, I'm not going to not take that. But I wasn't. I, most of the seeds that I finish, I, I don't get Magical Sword, so it's not a really big concern for me. Yeah, for sure. And we do have a finish on Dragon Dark's side here at 106.55. That's fine as oh, nice. to, the, to the girl. Uh, did not have bow either, so played <laughs> Huge that gamble as well. Although both of you did have Boomstick, which is very important. Yeah, I, once I saw this was, I was having bomb issues, and once I saw that this was uh, uh, shapes, I was trying to save up as much as I could, but I was really torn. I was like, I might need this money for a key, but bombs might be more of an issue, so I'll just go with the boomstick, I guess, and hope for the best. Yeah, boomstick's a thing. Oh my god, yeah. What's going on, on, DD? Keys needed to be a thing, bomb blocks, ladder blocks. Yep. We have a few less blocks. Recorder blocks. All the blocks. Keys, keys were a huge issue for me early on. I was down to zero keys many times throughout this. Oh, run. so was I. And zero bombs. And by the way, Mags was fourteen hearts. Yes, but they just said I never got it. I tried at twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Wow. But hey, at least there was no meat block. There was no That's meat that. block. I did find. I did find Grumbles though. I don't think I did. Or a bow block, considering that neither of you found the bow. Yeah. I was a little worried when I ran into, like, what, three Gomas in level, what was that? Was that level four? Or four, yeah. I, I think seven is, seven to me seems to be the one that always gets, like, every single Goma in the seat. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 took, I took a huge gamble. I hadn't found... I hadn't found one, two, three, four overworld items. I had no silvers and no bow and just went into nine. I had the silvers. I didn't have the bow. I only The only items I found with the three overworld ones, the silvers in the ladder in eight, the recorder in five, and then both bananas, and that's all I found. Yeah, that's basically what I did. You you, you got the silvers on me. Where was that? Was that uh, eight? That was, an eight? that was the second item in eight? Okay. Yeah. Uh, that was probably going to be, like, when I got out, if I had to, when I got out of nine, that was going to be my first choice because uh, I did find the the ladder was in there. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah, I had found the ladder and I had found the map, so I was like, well, out of all the dungeons, I at least have the map, so I'm going to go back there first for sure. But I I would have needed both items, and it would have been disastrous. I didn't find the ladder until pretty late. I found the silvers on my first trip in there, and then oh. I was recorder blocked from getting the ladder. I guess I just went a good path because I found the ladder first. Uh, in eight, and then the Triforce. Like, I don't know if I found the Triforce and then the ladder, or the ladder then the Triforce. I can't remember. It was pretty. It was like my second dungeon. Yeah, it was. You found the Triforce, then went to find the ladder, and both of them were behind that at a Dig Dogger Shutter Door. Ah, uh, and I had gotten the um, <clears throat> I had gotten the recorder out of five, and then pieced out really quickly. Yep. So I guess that was probably the the potentially tide turning moment of the match i think i think so and you had a boomstick probably for 15 minutes longer that was a big deal also oh okay 
I thought I got my boomstick pretty late, <laughs> to be honest. I, I got it before I went into my last dungeon, basically. So, yeah, you. I mean, you found the wand, and then you had to farm some rupees, and then yeah. Um, I have to ask, Dragon Dark, did you just want to have wooden arrows on top of the silver arrows? I completely forgot I had them. Okay, fair enough. That's what we figured. Getting him early in a seed. I got I got him early and didn't have the bow, so I just completely forgot that I had the stupid things. Hey, we, I've done it too. So it this is the yeah. second. This is the second randomizer race I've done it in. So I think we've all done it at least once. Nobody lie. Yeah, I I've, I've, myself. I've definitely bought the blue ring too when I already had the red ring. That was fun. Yeah, so that that delayed say, Dragon uh, Dark's book just a little bit, but again, he uh, went into yeah, you went into tw two. We didn't have bombs to get in there. And then you went back in again. Then you found the ladder block, and then you had to go to five. Then you had to go to eight, and then you finally got the wand. Yep. Yeah, it just seems like uh, I mean, sometimes these things play out like that. It's just a bad order of things. Well, sometimes even the seed, just because of how many blocks there are, kind of forces you, okay, you got to do this, then this, then this, yeah. and that chain reaction style. That's kind of what the seed had going was, I have to get the recorder to get the ladder to do anything. Yeah. Yeah, I was really happy to find the ladder as early as I did. Once, like, once I found that, I figured the seed's pretty much going to open itself up to me, and I'm just going to go hard. Because I, I didn't get a candle until I thought kind of late. Um, I don't know when you got the when you got a candle, but I, I I didn't get a candle until probably 15 minutes in at least. Uh, I think that was about when I got mine. Okay, I, I, it felt late for me, um, and so I I thought I was behind at that point, um, and I didn't I walked right past the uh, sword uh, at level one, <laughs> so I, I I think I got the sword at like 10 to 12 minutes in or something like that. I can't remember. I got the sword right off the bat, and then I think the next thing I really found was level nine. It's like, well, that doesn't yep. help, but okay. Yeah. I, I think neither of you guys found level seven for like 45 minutes. I mean, that was, was the last dungeon for both of you. It's kind of up in Death Mountain. I mean, there's no reason to check Death Mountain early. It was up in Death Mountain. I was having bomb problems as it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And my, I, I was so embarrassed by my bombing in Death Mountain, trying to like stay alive. And I, I could have sworn I was on the wand a bunch of times, but I wasn't. I was on my bomb, so that's why I kept losing bombs in Death Mountain, which was horrible. It was really that's, bad when I was trying to find level seven. It's actually something I was going to ask about. Is we couldn't tell if it was you just left it on bombs on accident or if you were trying to set up ten counts. No, that was me uh, scrolling, select swapping too quickly and thinking that I was on wand when I wasn't. Another thing I can't I can't figure out, maybe somebody can tell me this. I thought I picked up the letter. Um I saw it. It was no, in the cave wasn't it in it the was. cave south southeast of one? I don't remember. Did you pick it up, DD? I picked it up, but I don't remember where it was. Okay, like I, I could have sworn I had the letter, so I stood and and scrolled through my items uh, when I found a magic uh, for, when I found the potion shop uh, a bit a bit of a ways away. And I don't have the letter. I could have sworn I picked it up. I don't know what happened to it. Maybe I. Maybe I up an aid right out and didn't actually pick it up. I couldn't remember. I, I don't know. I honestly thought that I picked it up. Dark world. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I was just making sure. I was just seeing if somebody had noted that and saw it or what happened. I, I, I still don't know what happened. Yeah, I'm not superbly sure of what happened there either. Anywho. But yeah, random effect, you make the 3-0 and o group. That uh, feels pretty good. Welcome honest. to the club. Uh, yeah, thanks. You'll, you'll be in the 2-1 group, but you're still guaranteed for sure to be in that play-in race. And if you win your next race, you're guaranteed to buy. So still plenty of uh, plenty of room to avoid that that play-in race. Unless you want to join it, of course. The, the people in the 2-1 bracket, though, are going to be right. Yes, they are going to be pretty <laughs> difficult, for sure. Yep. You've got RC Drone, you've got Zardax, you've got K-Mac, 
uh, Ampharos, you got Putts, uh, and lots more to come. Uh, you'll have like, you'll have Unos or JSR. Yeah, Unos and JSR, JSR up uh, later tonight. Uh, let's see, who else is potential? Uh, you've got Matrick or Crystal Saver, Fred or Dig Shake. Oh, right. Yeah. Wow. Uh, hmm. Zeb Gedney or Jay Cooper, too. There's a lot of options. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty crazy group. Well, the good news is, is for the rest of the week, I think I'll practice some swordless stuff. <laughs> Swordless Blackout and Second Quest Dungeons. That's what people need to be practicing. Is Blackout an option in the first part of the elimination, or is it yes, only sir. Final Four? What? Swordless Blackout, oh, yes. Oh, God. What, get, what, what gets added at Final Four, then? Uh, basically, Open Nines. Oh, okay. uh, doesn't 40% items, get added, too? Block nine? Oh, God. Uh, random no. percent, I think. Uh, not random percent. Um, spy Shuffle. Oh, spy Shuffle. Oh, I think Pick up a boomerang and get a book. <laughs> Yeah. I think Sprite Shuffle's in the elimination round, but the main three things for, like, the final four are that you can either have open nine, and then you can also have important items be in nine, depending on how that works out. Uh, other things can block nine, so it could be, like, the wand in order to access it instead of Triforces. And also, the major one, which will throw everybody for a loop, is important items can drop off of enemies. A.K.A. ladders off of moblins. Wands off of Lionel's. I tried a seed with 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 that. It wasn't. It was kind of boring because I got all the good stuff like within ten screens of starting. Yeah, I've actually never so, done any of. I've never done a seed. I mean, I know the game well enough that I can probably do blackout, but I like you know somewhat well. But I haven't tried a swordless, and I haven't tried sprite shuffles. My focus was just getting on you know, through the Swiss. So I'm going to be definitely practicing all that stuff uh, coming up. Until you get a blackout shape seed. Oh, God. <laughs> so in that case, Boomstick's going to be even more valuable because I think the bomb pallet will let you see in the dungeons in that case. Yes, that is correct, yes. Yeah, I think, um, when I, you know, in blackout, you got to be really careful on, on bomb. Like, bombs will illuminate it, and then, you know, I'll be much more conscious of my 10 count i think because bombs become even more important you know blackout scene yeah. yep it's not too bad once you real once you figure out i mean you can kind of bump into things and kind of figure out what a room looks like it's just a matter yeah. of maneuvering it without running into it constantly and still killing stuff without dying yeah well probably the worst situation would be shuffled start room blackout randomized rooms just everything crazy yeah, and, I, yeah. I think that would be and, and like i I did some, it depends on how the flags work too, but I'm pretty sure you can't get swordless unless four Ganon's off. So the chance of actually getting a swordless okay. seat, it should be 25% if, if the randomizer okay. works the way it should. So then in order to get that along with blackout, you're at like a 12.5% chance. And then shapes with the next set of seeds is actually only 12.5 as well, or 16.5, because you're going to have first quest, mixed quest, and second quest. And in order to get shapes, it has to oh. pick first quest first, and then it can have shapes. So the chances of actually getting the combination of a swordless blackout shape seed is extremely low, like two percent. It's a crit. It's really. Small. I thought. I thought shape. Wait a minute. I thought, I thought shapes just it's forced the first quest. Oh, go ahead. It, it depends on how the randomizer picks its logic too, right? It depends on if it picks first quest and then decides to pick shapes. It it totally depends. I don't know how the logic works. Yeah, I had thought that. If Swordless is on, they put a wood sword in nine in the old main room. Maybe? That is if Swordless is on. Yes, that is correct. So, so then, yeah, that's that so the question becomes is, can, can Ganon awkward. still be required with that? Yes. Yunos and I had two Swordless seeds in a row. You had to kill Ganon to get to Zelda. Hmm. Wow. Uh, the, basically, the gentleman's code that we have developed for Swordless seeds is that. You can pick up the wood sword and kill Ganon at your discretion if you can, but not use it anywhere else. Because trying to determine for a 100% fact that you do not need to kill Ganon is what we have determined is kind of silly. But again, that's something that the tournament organizers are going to have to address uh, yeah. on what they want you know, everybody to do with that. But in, in the past, we have said, once you enter nine, you can pick it up and use it to kill Ganon. But, you know. But nothing else. Hmm. Apparently, Jake Oper is saying you can't pick up the sword. So if that's the case, have fun spending an hour and a half in level nine determining that you need to kill Ganon. Yep. 
Fun times ahead. <laughs> anyway, now that uh, also would make a non wizard set in nine much more valuable. Yeah. Anyway, I think I'm gonna hop off here and maybe do some some runs. So, uh, Dragon Arch, thanks for the race. That was pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> and uh, thanks for the commentary and restream, and uh, good luck in your next match. Thanks. You too, man. Yeah, Thank great, you guys. great race, guys. Uh, we'll Thank have another one coming up. Giving us a good race. Uh, we should probably head over to. I think Fred's doing the restream for the 9 p.m. race. Yep, and we'll have one more popping up here in 42 minutes on Jam Ebler's channel between the Seawolf and Adirondack Rick. And then at 10.30 over on The Dave, now with two E's instead of two underscores, we will have Yunos and JSR2Gamers. So make sure you pop open that multi-Twitch browser to check it all out. Unless you're like me and have a computer that would explode by doing that. <laughs> but I think we're going to go ahead and call it here for us. So once again, shout out to our two racers, Random Effect and Dragon Dark. Please give both of them a follow. And on behalf of my broadcast partner, Tejanos, I'm Isolated999. We hope to see you guys at some more of these races. Y'all have a good night.